it's possible the sword might be there regardless. We'll have to see an, an more of these to get, you know, the best idea, but we're about to be starting right now. here we're going to be looking for what kind of overworld this might be and look at this this is a swordless seed we've got a blue candle and there are no extra candles either so a blue candle in the wood sword cave swordless seed yet again uh, jamie has been here before yeah um you could say maybe he's old hat at this point but i don't know if that's something you ever really get used to well, the good news for us, uh, Liquid has been, we're not dealing with shuffled sprites, so thank God for that. <laughs> or at least not on the, uh, uh, the blue candle. Can we please get a time check on both of these runners? Right. And we're back, and it looks like the prices have not been shuffled, and also the merchant shop messages are not shuffled either. That means one of two things. We're either dealing with vanilla hints, or we're dealing with deceptive hints. Yes. Uh, when, when the issue with deceptive hints is they may be true, they may be false. <laughs> so, that will certainly uh, could affect their uh, purchasing decisions moving forward. Secrets are not shuffled, it's a standard 30. We saw a 100, and level three has been discovered by Jam Eveler, and good news, this is not Blackout. For those of you who don't know, Blackout means you cannot see a thing, you cannot see anything unless you throw a bomb. When you throw a bomb, you can see the layout for a brief moment. That is the only way you can see what's in the room, so. I, I bet you Jamie is breathing a sigh of relief right now, as Adagenos right now is in level 1. And this is looking like no shapes, and it's looking like the dungeon colors, the backgrounds, those have not been shuffled. We are checking that right now to see if this is first quest or not. If this is probably looking like first, yes. Level two is where level two normally is, and I think level three was where level three is. And yep, the the areas of the dungeons are not shuffled either. Levels one, two, and three in their respective spots. We're talking about first quest. That means we're talking about three large secrets in the overworld. So money is going right. to not be too much of a problem for these players. And if they've been in their normal locations, then they will know where to find them when they need them. Uh, this is certainly probably going to be a much quicker seed than the last race we saw with Jam, although we do see second quest enemies in, the, uh, in level 2 with the uh, flashing ropes. And also that means the Stealthors are going to shoot those um, beam swords, and they do the same amount of damage that a Lionel beam sword would do, two full hearts. <laughs> Yeah. We have found the they staircase. Nice the handed in the first quest. They they really we up the game. Raft. raft is. You need it for level four and a triforce capture and level one for jam. Jam, of course, going back to level one, and the Triforce has been captured in level one also by Adagenos. They both have one Triforce piece each. 
So now both of them are going to be looking for an item that's on the ground. Now because the rooms are shuffled, we the drops... Go ahead. I was saying, we haven't discovered any items yet, have we? By the way, we are dealing with deceptive hints because it says Dodongo dwells along the coast. We know that's false because doesn't Dodongo dwell along in the forest? Or is that actually considered the coast? I would think it would be the coast or, yeah, I, mean, I would think it would be the coast. I think it would be in the forest for sure. Yep, so, yeah, we are definitely dealing with deceptive hints here, so... It's not going to help them identify the locations of dungeons. They're going to know exactly where they need to go. But it, but now, if they're looking for an idea of what items they're looking for, they're going to be gambling. And there's the bow as the Armo statue item in its normal spot. That's a good find right there by 8 Gen. Oh, yeah. Definitely. So, uh, Death's here in a swordless sea. And with the money that he's already earned from Secrets, he's going to go ahead and purchase some wooden arrows. That's a very good buy. Definitely going to help him out in the Swordless Seed. Of course, it's still no good against Wizards and Dark Nuts. So good luck with those still. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jamie Evil are still looking for the first, the second item in level one, but Adagenos is going to head for level two. Again, just like in level one, the item is going to be on the ground, but because everything is shuffled, the rooms, we don't know if it's just going to be on the ground right for the taking, may have to full clear room, it may be consumed within an enemy, we will find out. Took three hits to take care of those um, orange gorillas. Does that tell us about the HP of these enemies, uh, Liquid Husband? Uh, the, the, uh, that is the standard HP for a red gorilla. Um, not sure what are the enemies. The, the, the wooden oh. arrows. Oh, the wooden arrows are two, yeah. Yeah, there's two of each, so it's probably a, it's probably five or six HP then on a on a red Korea. So we are dealing with they shuffled, are shuffled. Yep, shuffled HP enemies indeed. Yeah, these blue Gorillas, they go down with just one wooden arrow, so that's a, that's a good relief there. Jam Evil is now heading for level 8, leaving the one item in level 1 behind. We'll see if either of these players come back for it. Yeah. So they both pick up the raft. I saw, I saw Jin pick up the raft in one. Yeah, we did not see the second item in level 8. It probably requires a full clear of some kind of enemy that they didn't have any ammunition to work with. So that is going to be a mystery for the time being. Ooh, we got this Goma here that's guarding the Triforce. So, ooh, bow block out of a Triforce in level 2. So you better have the bow and arrows if you want the Triforce out of there. Oh, definitely so. try to find a way to have anything going on in level 8 currently. Yeah, there's nothing Jam can do right here, and so far it looks like his routing isn't paying off right now. He's taking a gamble in level 8, two items that are in level 8, but he's just not equipped for the long haul. He needs to go back and make his way to Death Mountain, get the Armo statue item. Again, that's the bow. He's got enough money to purchase the wood arrows, but he is going to go to level 5 next up. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's it's hard not to uh, check out check out the various dungeons when you know where they are located uh, in a in a seed like this that has the uh, vanilla overworld cave locations. Certainly, a, quite a departure from what we what we saw the other night. 
Well, Jan found the Triforce in level five, so he's gonna go ahead and pick that up. He also purchased a bomb upgrade. Standard price, standard upgrade, 100 rupees for four bombs. And there's the power right. bracelet in level two. That is the item that Anagenos just picked up. All right. Of course, we know it's not going not to be- the, Probably not the item he was looking for, but- uh... No. <laughs> Because again, because this is nothing has been shuffled in terms of the location of the levels, they are not going to need the power bracelet unless something else were to be shuffled. And I don't see that being any indication. We're probably going to see the take anys there. Jam Evil is going to head for level three next and hopefully have some better luck finding the items. Right now, he could be playing gambling here, knowing what, who he's up against. A guy like Adagito. So he may have to take some gambles if he wants a shot winning this race. Yeah. And, you know, he, he probably, I don't know if he feels like he's behind, but he knows that so far much of his routing hasn't paid off the way he would like for it to. And, like you said, knowing he's playing against Adagito, the guy who thrives on these these difficult flags like swordless um and and jam's just general play being uh, aggressive to begin with you know he's going to be uh taking as many chances as he can he's not taking chances here he's gonna go back into level three i mean i certainly don't blame him level three is small enough that you can go back into level three and try again but he's got a full clue of this room full of orange dart nuts again he did get the triforce out of level three but on Anagino's side, on a bonus cave, he went ahead and took the potion, and I definitely agree with this play here, because you never know when you might need that potion to get perhaps a key item or a Triforce, or maybe even in level 9. Oh yeah, definitely good to have a potion in your back pocket um, going into level 9. Uh, you never know how many HP uh, the blue wizards are going to be now that we know that the uh, enemy HP are shuffled. You do not, you do not want to get stuck in a situation where you're over and over again into a large level 9 uh, going reverting back to 3 hearts over and over again. You know, speaking of enemies, it doesn't look like that the enemy sets have been shoveled. So far we've seen everything where it's normally supposed to be, as Adagenus is going to go ahead and purchase this 4 bomb upgrade, so now both players working on a max capacity of 12 bombs. 12 bombs definitely been you know, the bomb upgrade uh, really becomes uh, a lot more prevalent in these swordless seeds, especially if we can't find a boomstick anywhere. Um, that is true. I, by the way, the uh, shops have not been shuffled. In fact, none of the caves have been shuffled either. Everything is where it normally is. So they're going to find everything rather quickly if they want quick access to whatever they need to find. There's the red candle as the item in level three. That's a solid pickup right there for jam. That's an upgrade, because now you can use it as many times as you want in a room. Very useful, in my opinion, against Gibdos. Yes, yeah, a great combat item for when you don't have a sword, uh, whether it's just because you haven't found the sword yet, or in this case, it being a swordless seed. Um, yeah, Gibdos, Gorillas, uh, both uh, very good to be able to keep keep those guys at bay with the with the red candle. Uh, Wallmasters, ropes, all... All enemies that uh, you're going to be happy to have that item with. Absolutely, and it's even more valuable in this cordless seed like this. Yeah, great pickup. I'd pick it up um, just about any time. Yeah. Especially this early. Ooh, look at this. The white uh, sword you know, item is a heart container. Uh, that, that means there we are going to fungin most likely somewhere. So that is correct, which means we're going to see something different on the coast. The ladder on the coast is not going to be the heart container. It's going to be something else. He's got that raft. Adagenos now heading for level four. Looks like Jamie Evil is going to make his way to level six next, which means he will stumble upon that bow very soon.
Of course, there's only going to be one staircase yeah, in level four. Open up a lot more options for him once he gets that bow. Yeah, absolutely right. But right now, Jam is going to try and make a play for level six, first of all. Of course, this is a wizard rope dungeon because, again, the enemy sets not shuffled. Finds the item immediately. It's the ladder. Oh, it's fine. Yep, that's a gorgeous find right there for Jamie Evil. He's going to nope out of level six for now, given that it's a wizard rope dungeon. I certainly don't blame him, but that is going to give him more options in case there are some ladder blocks along the way. And given that the, everything is shuffled up, the rooms are shuffled up, there's bound to be a ladder block somewhere. Yeah. Um, especially if we've, uh, you know, he's already, they've already gotten the one item in the Triforce, or at least we've seen one item in the Triforce out of level one. Um, it'd be especially huge if, if, we, if we found out that level one had something but uh, come across some ladder blocks in the uh, dungeons. We haven't been to seven yet, obviously. I um, don't know how much or how much we've seen of level four. We're about to find out what the item is on the coast, but first of all, we're going to kill some Octrox. Now we're going to find out it's bombs! Ho oh, ho! That means that's the white <laughs> sword it. item. So the white sword, by the way, in Swordless, both the white sword and the magical sword are replaced by bombs. So unfortunately, nothing of big time use on the coast. So we will mark that down. So the white sword is the item on the coast, but it is bombs because again, Swordless Seed. Yeah, and well, I mean, the other did need bombs. That is true. He did need bombs. Well, he's got 11 bombs, but unfortunately, picking up that ladder, any advantage that Jamie Evler might have had on that Genos went just, just went down significantly. Again, unless we have some ladder blocks. We did see one in level 4 for, for, and in it with Genos. A, a, a room that he could, I couldn't see if he was able to get around it or not. I didn't get a good look at it. He has found a double block room. He knows where the Triforce is. In fact, it's in this room right now. He's got to full clear this room full of buyers, which he does successfully. He's going to go ahead and pick up his fourth Triforce piece. He's halfway home to getting to level nine. And Jamie Evil discovering the not so great news that the white sword item is the heart container. He's going to go ahead and pick it up, and he's able to do so with the five hearts he's got. Yeah, another scene as you know, pick up a potion earlier in the bonus cave was knowing that uh, with a swordless seed, he's not going to be working towards any kind of uh, number of heart containers to uh, pick up any swords. So that is correct. Up a potion. Yep, the magical sword again. Bombs take its place. So yeah, the number of hearts is really not going to be much of a factor unless you want a lot of health. So yep. Picking up the potion is an even bigger play in these kind of seeds. So you're probably going to see more and more players pick up a potion in the take any games. Manhandler threatens in the dead woods. That is a truthful hint. Again, we're dealing with deceptive hints, folks. That would almost be easier if deceptive hints made you know, they were always incorrect, but like you pointed out, there are some that, that, uh, that are truthful, some that are not. Really, uh, let's say, kind of discourages the purchasing of hints in the overworld, which is probably for the best in a swordless seed, because you want as much money as you can as you can have for arrows and bombs and such. There's one reason a person might buy hints on deceptive hints is if the hints are close to start, then they can just go ahead, save beforehand, and then retry after they purchase those hints, and hopefully take a gamble. Yeah. yeah. And, and then just retry after you yeah. Correct. And Anagenos is going to go ahead and pick up this red candle again in a swordless seat. I definitely agree with this pickup because you're going to need as much ammunition as you possibly can against these enemies in the dungeon without your trusty sword. Looking at the count here, both players have three Triforce pieces. Actually, that's the fifth Triforce piece for um, 
I had a Genos. He did pick up the Triforce in level four. He's also got the Triforce out of level three now, so that is five Triforce pieces for Adagenos. First five Triforce pieces, Jay Cooper. That is what he's got right now. He's uh, he's got a lot of Triforce. Yeah, he got a lot of tri items. He's a little bit finding the uh, the Triforce pieces uh, fairly early in these done. Of you, uh, if it's handing you the Triforce, you go ahead and take it, knowing that uh, it's not a huge time loss if you have to come back later because you didn't spend a lot of time in the dungeon to begin with, and it's not like your opponent is on the other end with the sword clearing things out left and right. That's correct. And we did see that uh, Jam picked up the power bracelet, so he's now got that on the board. Again, he's not going to need it because it's not required in this particular scene. Jam has just discovered the we bad news. We see everyone's favorite item in the... Uh... By the way, Liquid, uh, Jam just discovered the bad news. He has just realized he is bow blocked out of the Triforce in level 2. He did not pick up the bow uh, at Death Mountain. He got to level 6, but he did not go back to the Armo statue. Uh. That is on the bow being there, and then with the Goma block on that, uh, that trap for a considerable time loss simply because we know that Adagenos did that in what we would call the correct order. Exactly. And right now, uh, Adagenos is in level 8, going to be looking for two items, just going to plow through this dark nut right here, and because it's reverse C, uh, there's a pretty good chance that there's going to be an item behind reverse C, and so you're going to have to full clear room like that. And again, arrows are of no use to you against dark nuts. Same thing with uh, the candle. That's not going to be of any use either. And as we suspected, the any roads are behind the power bracelet spots. And he is going to go ahead and check the uh, armo statue, and he's going to be glad he did because he's going to find that bow. He's got plenty of money to buy wooden arrows, so... He's going to be in good shape to get that Triforce out of level 2. But so far, Adagenos has done a better job of routing. And routing is one of the big things that can make you or break you in a race like this. Again, this is the knockout stage. The loser is out of this tournament. The winner advances to the quarterfinals as Jam Evil does pick up the wooden arrows for the 80 rupees. So now he can get the Triforce out of level 2. So now he's got to wonder, where am I going to go next? Does he go back to level 6 or does he go to level 2? does not have the raft and remember you know we all know you have to have the raft to get to level four in the first quest so see what jam has in mind adagenos could not do anything more in level eight he had to nope on out of there Jam's now going to go back into level one. This is the correct play because, again, he needs to get the raft out of the staircase. But, of course, you either have to full clear the room or you've got to do that block clip without a sword. And neither of those a, a simple task uh, without without the sword. Uh, know, knowing Jam, I assume he's going to try to uh, try to make the clip uh, without it. Oh, absolutely. There's no question in my mind. Raft was one of the items in level one. We have not discovered the second item in level one, however. Of course, now with the bow and arrows, he's going to have a much better chance of full clearing a room. And to try this room first, that's a key. That'll help him out. He was down to just two keys. Now he's up to three. We still do not know what the item, though, is. The second item. We now do. It's Lord Banana himself. He's going to pick it up. All hail. <laughs> Again, you're, you're much more willing usually to uh, pick up any any kind of item that might possibly help you uh, uh, the effects of, uh, of potential enemies. Uh, yep, it's uh, pick up your enemies. Quick. Yeah, not gonna be killing anything with it, but yeah, you can uh, you can control a room 
that you that you may not be able to kill, so that you're not having to constantly move around, especially if you're trying to uh, pull off a clip into the uh, into a staircase or something. And uh, boss HP is not zero either. That might be shuffled as well. Took two bombs to kill that um, Aquamentus. He's able to do the block clip, and he is going to pick up the raft again. He needed that, and he's nodding his head in approval. He knows that it was a good idea to go back into level one. So that's all for level one for Jam. So now they'll have some choice to make. Go back to level two to pick up that Triforce or make a play for level four. Right now, Atagenos is back to level eight. He just took care of that Goma and is able to bomb to the north. I don't think he has discovered either of the two items yet, however. Jam is also going to pick up a potion in the Take Any Cave. And again, it's the right call, considering that the Magical Sword is out of play. Bombs replace it. So, yep, you're definitely going to want to pick up a potion for free. Good good play there by Jam. We find a corridor staircase here, and he's going to try to make his way around it. First, he's going to go ahead and full clue this room so he can up open these shutter doors. One of the items is the book. Ah, uh ah, -uh, does not want that book. No way, no how. <laughs> no sprite shuffle, you're not picking up the book. Yeah, absolutely not. I mean, even though you have no sword to work with, the book is still useless. Wait, no, <laughs> he was trying to buffer the room. I see what he's going there. He's going back in so that he gets a more favorable uh, set of enemies or to reset the room, so to speak, so that if he does lose his life here, he doesn't have to full clear this room again. Double play with that bomb there. However, he finds himself one Dark Nut short. Tough break there by Adagenos. He is not happy with himself there. Jam's in the Triforce room. He's going to find a key right here. He's up to five keys now. Two keys for Adagenos, but no bombs. And again, resource management is everything, especially in a swordless seed like this. i farm some Dodongos here. Jamie is. He's going to pick up some more. No, he can't. He can't. He can't do that. No sword. Bombs. And unfortunately for Jam, and he can't believe it, he is in disgust. That is not a pushable double block room. By the way, we have not discovered the item in level four yet, for those of you who are playing along. And here's another Dodongo room, and he's out of bombs. He's only got one bomb. You have to have two bombs to kill the Dongo here. Once again, we're going to make another play to level eight, or no? And he's able to bomb to the north is Jam. We'll be able to take care of these enemies right here. Pinball Joe, uh, he's got it. Both players have the bow and arrow right now. We don't know where the silver arrows are right now. There is a decent chance they could be in level 9. Though. We have not discovered either the silver arrows or the red ring at this time. We have found the item in level four. It's the recorder, and that's a huge item because that is required to get into level seven. So very nice find right there for Jamie Eveler that added Genos could not pick up in level seven. He could be behind now. That's going to probably put Jamie Eveler in the lead, in my opinion. Of course, we'll see how long it takes for um, added Genos to complete level eight. Right now, he's going to go ahead Back to full capacity of bombs. He's going to try again with these Dark Knots, hoping that there's something good behind this level. See, he gets some more bombs. He's got to be careful. He's down to one half of a heart. He's got, got one Dark Knot left. Probably one more bomb should do it. There it is. And there's no drop, so maybe this is a pushable block. It is. Is it the second item? It is. And it is the one. That is a huge find right there by Atagenos. That is a great weapon to have in Swordless because it does the same amount of damage as the White Sword. Plus, it is effective against Dark Nuts. However, still not effective against Wiz Rose. And 
they've both added Genos and Jay Mueller taking deaths in their respective levels, and that means they're both going to have to try it again. That is a very interesting combo. So we have both the one and the book in the same level. You don't see that every day, folks. Once again, Adagio's going to have to be very careful. He is down to one heart. Jam's got three hearts. Both have a maximum of eight. And another death for Adagino's. We're now 30 minutes into this race. Five Triforce pieces for Adagino's. Four Triforce pieces for Jam. Right now, I'd say it's anybody's game. In my opinion, I think Jam does have the lead. Again, with that recorder in hand, he has access to level seven and another blue dark nut death for Adagino's. Ugh, he is not having a swell time in level eight. Meanwhile, Jam Evil has just picked up the Triforce in level four. So now he's got four Triforce pieces to Adagino's five. He's got to be careful. Ooh, that red Octorot pushed him, but didn't push him back far enough. Oh, but he goes back to this other side anyway. Oh, that's got to be frustrating. Looked like he got away with it scot-free and accidentally moves back up. And that was what got him to be pushed back into level four. But no matter, he is on his way. He's likely going to use that recorder he just got and make his way to level 7 33 rooms of pure nightmare and it's really going to be a nightmare considering no sword but again the good news is we're not dealing with the darkness that we deal dealt with sunday night we've got a manhandler guarding that five rupee right there and bt wants no part of it he does find his six triforce though so that is going to do it for level eight for Added Genos, six Triforce pieces to four Triforce pieces. But again, he knows he needs that recorder if he wants to get to level seven. The only other level is level six. And again, that is a Wizro dungeon. Very difficult to delve when you just have bombs that, can, that you can use to kill them with. So it's pretty tough. Finds the pushable block. Is that the item? No, it is not. He's going to take it anyways, though. He's got six keys and eight bombs to his name and 127 rupees. Just two keys, though, for Adagenos with seven bombs and 109 rupees to his name. Take care of these stealth. Once again, got to be careful of those sword beams. You get hit by those, you lose two hearts. Looking at the rupee count of both of these players, it doesn't look like that blue ring is going to be in play for either player. Again, getting hit by the stealthless, you only lose a half heart. You don't want to get hit by their sword beams. That's what you want to avoid at all costs. And he gets an extra key for his efforts. Jam will try to bomb to the west and does so successfully. Adagenos is about to make his way into level six. And we could have a potential bait block here. That's normally where we have a bait block in level seven. We'll see if there's a workaround. There very well might be. No problem taking care of those. And hey, we have found the compass. That's a very important find right there for Jam. So now he knows exactly where he needs to go to get the Triforce. And ooh, another Dodongo block. And again, you have to have two bombs because you have no sword. There's nothing you can do about it. He is able to take care of that Dodongo and continue his way to the Triforce. It's a fairy out of the blue gorillas. Another fairy out of the blue gorillas, but he doesn't need it. He's full of health already. Come on, game. Give it to him when he's down on health. Of course, the game knows because they're always going to give you something you absolutely don't need. But when you really want it, game doesn't give it to you. Right now, we're in level six for Adagenos. There's the Triforce room. Some bombs. Yeah, go ahead and pick that up. Both of these players have a bomb upgrade on the board, so their maximum capacity is 12 bombs. So I think uh, Adagios is going to want to try and get the Triforce and get out of here. Again, he's got a problem, though. He does not have the recorder that he needs in order to get to level 7. Looks like Jam has found the item, however. So we're about to discover what is in this level 7. The ladder's been picked up by Adagios. And we have the inferior model, Scrap Metal Boomerang. Uh-uh, says Jam. All he's got to do now is pick up the Triforce, get the heck out of here, and make his next play. He's got two, six, and eight left to deal with. Uh, Liquid Husband had to drop off, so I'm going to help out with commentary. I'll not leave you by yourself. All right. So uh, 
do apologize for that. Um, hopefully, the, look what husband's able to get everything patched up. So Jay Coper's going to join me on the commentary. And a nice clock find by Adagino's going to take care of this room, no problem at all. It's blue whiz robes again. Only way you can kill them are bombs. And he's got a problem, folks. You know what that problem is? He doesn't have enough bombs to kill that blue whiz robe. You need three bombs. He's going to get the more favorable like like, and that's going to enable him to clear this room out. Jam Evil has made his way into level eight now. Again, the one and the book are the two items in this dungeon. And looking at what I've got on my chart here, it's looking really, really likely that we're going to see the red ring and the silver arrows as the two items in level nine. Still a couple of items left at large. This is a really hard race to handicap right now. Oh, absolutely right now. To me, this is anybody's game at the moment. Yeah, we're gonna have an item recap here in just a couple of moments here. I'm taking a stab here and saying that level five is going to have the any key here. So we're, th at this point, we're gonna make some speculations here. I am gonna go ahead and give you Gliok lurks with the recorder. That is a truthful hint. There is a recorder in level four, and if Adagino is banking on that, he knows that he's got to head for level four if he wants that item to get into level seven. Here's a recap of all the items that we have found. Level one's items were the raft and the wooden boomerang. Level two had the power bracelet. Level three, the red candle. Level four is the, four is the recorder. We are speculating that the item in level five is the magical key. Level six had the ladder. Level seven has the inferior model magical boomerang. Level eight's items were the book and wand. We are speculating that the items in level nine are the red ring and the silver arrows. The almost set you item was the bow. The latter item co on the coast are the bombs, which is what normally is the, the white sword. And the white sword item is the heart container. I think it's pretty cute how the the white sword item and the ladder item just switch places. Yep, pretty much indeed. There's a heart container grab that Gliok poorly guarded right there in that Chevy room. That's going to put Jamie Evler up to nine hearts again. Magical sword is pointless because bombs replace the magical sword. So you're going to see players again, like we have seen already in this race, grab those potions. Both players still have a full complement of potion in their inventory. And Jamie Evler, he's in the room where I believe the book is. Gets a bomb drop as Adagenos after clearing that room full of whiz robes. He's up to 10 bombs right now, but he's got to be careful. He is down to just one key. Jamie Miller finds the book and wants no part of it. Uh-uh. All right, it looks like, uh, I'm getting indication, I did not see it, but it looks like that um, Adagenos did spend one of his potions, so he's down to just a blue potion left, but I don't believe Jam Eviler has drank any of his potions. Maybe Jam he used passed both up potions. the Triforce and he's looking for that item. I, I, he's gotta be hoping for the wand right now. Yeah, absolutely. He will find the wand here, will Jam Eveler. So that's why I guess he's delving for the second item. I mean, I suppose he could use the any key. I mean, he does have six keys. That's a fair amount to have. But it's looking like at this point, he's going for the second item. It's a tricky level six right now that uh, Adagenos is in. A lot of whiz robes here, which means you have to have a lot of bombs to full clear these rooms. Again, Triforce's shuffle. Not gonna be in the Triforce room. You want that Triforce? There it is. You got a bomb whiz rope. So that's a difficult room, folks. You need to be fully equipped with a bunch of bombs. If you 
you want that Triforce out of level six, that is huge for Adagenos. That is his seventh Triforce piece. The only Triforce piece he needs now is the one out of level seven. But again, he can't go into level seven until he gets that recorder. And he got a hint, and we are dealing with deceptive hints, keep this in mind, folks, that Gliok is guarding the recorder. Now, he doesn't know that 100%, but if he's banking on it, it's a good bank because we do know the recorder is indeed in level four. And Adagenos is not buying that hint. Looks like he's going to go to level one next, or uh, he's down to one heart. Well, he does get a fairy. Uh, he's going back to level one next, so yeah, he, he hasn't seen he's, the second he item. thinks, yep, he thinks the hint is false, and he's going to be wrong. He's going to find Lord Banana as the second item in level one. Meanwhile, Jamie Evler's in level two. He's already gotten the item out of there. Again, that was the power bracelet. He just needs to get the Triforce that he was bow blocked out of. So this should be a quick kill right here. So both players will be one Triforce piece away. I'd say right now, Jamie Evler has the advantage at the moment. But again, level six is bomb fest. You need a ton of bombs to make your way out of that level. So hopefully, Jamie Evler is prepared. really depends on how long it takes the jam to find this, uh, this Triforce in level 6. He's already got the ladder. Right. It took quite a while for Adagenos to complete level 6, so we'll see if Jam either finds a better route or if he finds a worse route, so we'll see what happens here, but right now it's taken a long time for Adagenos to find that second item in level 1, and he is not going to be happy when he finds it. I think he, this is in the room right here. Yep, this is the room where uh, the wooden boomerang was, right here. And Adagenos, not happy when something. He does pick up the wooden boomerang again. Another option to have when you have a uh, swordless seed, but he was definitely hoping that the recorder was there. So now he's got to believe to himself. His choices are now level 4 or level 5, and it looks like he's heading for level 4, which is going to be the right call. Interesting decision by Jam here to not just up an A out of this fire room. Save the time he's saving his health instead. I mean, I, I can understand why he's doing this, Jay Cooper. Again, this is a wizard of dungeon. Two hearts of damage is what the blue wizards do, and four hearts of damage is what the orange wizards do. So, I mean, I can understand the play why you would want to try and save your health and not up an A there. So, I definitely don't fault him for that. But we'll see what happens. The only good news for Jam Eviler is he's in a room right now with a bubble. So once he full clears this room, he doesn't have to clear it again. Nice kill. Double kill right there of those blue wizards. That was a well-played room right there by Jam. You gotta give him credit. He, he really played his cards right with those bombs. It's nice that he has enough arrows here. He's got enough money. Otherwise, that lack of a wand would really be hurting him. Well, absolutely. Meanwhile, Adagenos is in level 4, and he will find that the recorder is here so he can make a play to level 7. boss is what ended up guarding the recorder right here that Adagenos is about to pick up. Now he can make his play into level 7. We've got ourselves a race, folks. This is really, really close. I think Jam still has a very, very slight advantage right now, but it let's face it, folks, it is definitely anybody's game. Double bomb right there. That was a very effective use of bombs right there. Gets two portions of bombs from those orange wizards. Now has more wizards to deal with it. And he's saying, uh-uh, that room. Meanwhile, Adagenos has made his way into level seven. Which was not a very, very, very 
long dungeon, but ooh, Jamie Lee takes a death right there on the diamond staircase. Oh, that's brutal. So here's a chance for Adagenos to take the lead right back. The, the Triforce in seven was actually up uh, in the top right. Um, and I don't know where the compass was, but uh, I, I think one advantage, the, the biggest advantage that Adrian has here is that he, um, well, He's got two big advantages. He doesn't have to look for items here for any reason. Uh, really, he can. Uh, he's gonna assume that red ring and silver arrows are in nine. And right. uh, two is that he's got the wand, of course. So absolutely should make seven a little easier for him than it was for Jam. Oh, I just got Mckemma tumbled by those wizards. He had done that block clip to get in that staircase, and the wizards said, "Not today!" Ho ho ho! That's going to be a much easier task, and uh, not using the arrows right here. He wants to save his money. I don't know why you'd save your money. You're not buying a blue ring, Jam. I'd like to see him get above or below the like, like, and get some more bouncing action. Oh, there he gets it. Ah, he's got it, and he finds some bombs, which he's just going to leave behind. I think he's going... His plan here is to bomb in this room, and then he can come back and pick those up, and he's already resigned himself to taking that refill. Uh, Dikembe Mutombo was a former NBA basketball player. Keep in mind, Jamie Evelis still has a red potion. He's down to one Part. Now he's on the right track to where the Triforce is. We know he has to full clear room full of whiz robes to get the Triforce. Now his problem is he does not have the compass. He finds himself in a trap room. There's nothing there. He's just going to back out and time to play some three door Monty. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. And he's going to spend one of his potions. So both players are down to the Pepsi right now, the blue potion. So both players have just one potion left. Use it wisely. Who just missed that beam. But he does get bodied. Yikes. Wizards, they don't care who you are. These wizards mean business, folks. I think something that's very significant here is that uh, Jam has five keys, whereas Agent only has two. That's right, and with level 9 being level 9, if it's one of those level 9s where resource management's going to come into play, and unfortunately for Jam Eveler, he just spent a key he probably regrets spending because there's nothing down there. Now he's down to three keys, and little does he know, he should have just went around. He is just spending keys all willy-nilly. He's down to two keys. Now, the only good news is he's getting very close to where he needs to be to get the Triforce now. There, My memory little... serves me, this is the room right here, but he's going back. He wants to get some bombs out of these orange whiz robes, potentially. When you wait in these doorways, you want to not be, um, you, you want to be right on the edge of the doorway, otherwise the whiz robes can spawn, uh, at the tile next to you. And right. if you do that, then you can't step out of the doorway and hit them with the bomb. Now the good news for Jam, there is a four-pack of bombs, so if he fails in this room, he can go back. But he gets some more bombs, he should be in good shape, just as long as he doesn't get killed. He will clear this room, get the Triforce, and will be the first player to get to level nine. Why is he always oh, going to pick up the bombs? I was just about to say, yes, I completely forgot the bombs. But meanwhile, Adagino's picked up the Triforce in level seven. Jam Evil right there, picking up the Triforce in level eight. We are going to have a dogfight coming up in level 9. Stay tuned, folks. It's going to be fun. Sorry, I just realized my mic was not down. I, <laughs> I hope that uh, you could still hear me okay, and I hope you can hear me even better now. Perfect. But yep, so this is it. Both players have all eight Triforce pieces. Both players are going to make their way to level 9. Adagenos is going to have the ever-so-slight advantage of getting into level 9 first. It is clearly anybody's game it's all going to come down to who's luckier so 
just a moment, we are going to uh, break down what these guys are going to be looking for in level 9. First thing is first, they're going to get this wood sword here in level 9. So now they're finally going to have some legitimate combat against these wizards. Because this is going to be a wizard of level 9. Again, none of the enemy sets were shuffled. And a genus will be first at 49.43. I, I turned my mic down some. I hope that's good. Okay, so... Even though this was a, a Ganon, or a sword this seed, Ganon could still be required, and we are, we don't know that yet. So we're going to be looking for the same things as usual. 49.57, 14 second difference going into level 9 between the two, and Ganon found immediately by added Genos, but there's nothing he can do here unless he's able to bomb. It is 1 HP, or 0 HP Ganon, so that's the good news. The bad news is he has no silver arrows. It, he gained a lot of information in that room, though. Absolutely he did. Uh, you always want to take care of the Ganon first to see if it's 0 HP. He did so. He knows it's 0 HP. Now the only question is, is Zelda going to be required? But How he, are we going to know if Zelda's going to be required? Go ahead. He also saw that Ganon was not in his own room, which means it's more likely that Zelda is not going to be in her own room. Unless we've already seen Zelda's room. Right, which means there's a good chance that there could be more than one way to get into Zelda's room. Now, if, if Ganon is required, you're going to be looking for a single shutter door room, or if you full clear a room, if that shutter door does not open automatically after full clearing the room, Ganon is required. you got to find that silver arrow. If Ganon is not required, Zelda can be in any kind of room. You can get there via just an open door, and ooh, there's a death right there to Wizrobes on Adagino's side, and have to try again. Could be behind a locked door, could also be behind a shutter door. Might have to bomb your way through, or magical staircase. A lot of ways to get in. I feel like uh, we're probably going to have a lot of people in chat kind of screaming either in chat or in their heads at these people to use their potions, but you really don't want to use your potion until you know it's like a, a critical moment in general. Yep, as I like to say, Jay Cooper, they're going to use the potions at the most opportune time. This isn't the most opportune time right now. You don't know enough information. Now, I don't know if Jam Eviler knows where Ganon is. He didn't go into Ganon's room. I mean, if he does and has a marked all well and good, but right now I'd say Adagenos has a very slight lead on Jam. It's very slight. It's anybody's game. If Zelda's not required, all bets are off. Or if Ganon's not required, all bets are off. Zelda, of course, is always required. Unless, of course, you're playing as one of Ganon's minions. Yeah, I, I think the biggest advantage that Adagenos has is the wand, of course. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Easily takes care of these pancakes right here, which is something that Jamie Evil can't right. do. And it wouldn't take, uh, you know, a good several minutes to beat this patcher if Jam had this a wand to help him out. The silver to kill the beast lies elsewhere, but remember, we're dealing with deceptive hints that may or may not be true. Wouldn't it be something if it was it's true, though, Jacob, and they'd have to go back to level 5? That would certainly be quite something. Ooh, and another death on 8th gen side. That means he's going to have to try again. There's the red ring in level 9. That's really going to help Jamie Evil out. That means his defense quadruple damage down to one quarter. Right. Now losing that potion isn't nearly as big of a deal for Jam. He should be in pretty good shape, even on three hearts, if he has to up an A for any reason. The only other item that is left that could be of use to either player is the any key, which, again, we still believe that it's in level 5, provided that the Silver Arrows are not forced out of level 9, but we think Silver Arrows are in level 9, but we won't know until, I mean, we may never know if Ganon ends up being not required. And another death on 8th gen side, oh, this has been a not-so-kind level 9 for him. Nice clip against these Wizrobes, does not find the Silver Arrows here, he'll go ahead and take this passageway, and... It'll be in the southwest corner now. War Wizrobes and Jam wants no part of that room. Now he's stuck in a four turret room with these 
blue land moles he wants no part of that room either. And I certainly don't blame him. Try to bomb to the north, can't do it. How about to the east? Can't do it. I saw a uh, shutter door on 8 Gen's screen there. I don't know if we had the any confirmation of if he had actually killed those enemies before. No, he, it was full of whiz ropes, and he uh, was unable to do anything about that. He got out of there. Both of these players are now in the same... Well, Ad, uh, Ad, 8 Gen was in the same section. Now, uh, Jam's in the section that 8 Gen was in earlier, this room that had a single shutter door room. Both players are down to just two keys and low on bombs. Of course, gets a clock. A little too late, game. Probably would have wanted that clock on the first Wizard kill, but does get a fairy out of it, and the shutter door opens, so that means nothing, but oops, Zelda's not there. If you get a clock and there's still Wizard live, you take it. Well, absolutely. He, I said he probably wished he would have found it. Hey, Silver Arrow's in level 9. Jam Eveler has all the puzzle pieces, so now, if he knows where Ganon is, he can kill the beast and then just has to find Zelda, and Jam Eveler will be a winner. Yeah, Zelda's kind of an important puzzle piece there, but, no, we'll get to that. So, for those of you who are playing along at home, that hint that we saw about the Silver Arrows being elsewhere, that is a deceptive hint. It's false. And quick kill of Ganon right there for Jam is going to pick up the Triforce of Power, so all he's got to do is find Zelda <laughs> and Jam e There it is! Right to the north of Ganon! So Ganon was required, and the compass is right there, too! That's it! Jam Evil wins! He advances to the quarterfinals! That is unbelievable! Zelda being one room north of Ganon. We don't know if that was the only way to get into Zelda's room, but... That's yeah, it. Jam Evil wins. Huh. I wonder. I it was the only visible door in a, 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 a but we did not see if uh there was a bomb door in there. Man. Oh, that's right. It's too bad that HN left. Doesn't look like he'll be doing an interview, I guess, but I'm not sure. Yeah, that, that's right, so the only way you're going to know where Zelda is, is by sure luck, because Zelda was guarding the compass. That is insane. How many yeah. seeds have we seen where the kidnapped guard the compass? What is that, like, didn't we have that happen, what was it, last weekend, I believe, during the, was it during the race-off? We had the uh, compass being guarded by Zelda? Holy smokes, but yeah, there it is, Jam Eveler, coming out of nowhere, and is going to advance to the quarterfinals against either Adirondack Rick or Karakarn VI. Uh, that's, that's certainly possible, AA. I'm, I'm not quite sure. Speculating that there had to be another way into that room. Sounds coming on. Let's get him in here. Hey, guys. Hey, Jam, congratulations. You are the winner. You are advancing to the quarterfinals. How are you feeling, Jamie? Yeah, that was uh, that was weird. That was a weird seed. Uh, that swordless had blocks for every level except for the higher tier levels, and that scared me uh, until I started finding the right items, like the ladder and six. That really opened up the entire rest of the game, but... I'm feeling amazing. Like, that was, that was not what I expected at all, and... Um, just had to, to adapt during that seed. Absolutely. The number 18 seed taking down the number two seed. Number two seed appears to be bad luck in the Zelda randomizers. You remember last year, Yunos was the number two seed, and he had the early exit. Well, here you are with the upset of the number two seed in this tournament. But I got to tell you something, Jamie. The difference going into level nine between you and Adagenos, Adagenos was ahead of you by 14 seconds. Wow. Yeah. I believe it. I believe it. Because this, this seed kept on pushing you away from different dungeons. I'm sure he tried the same ones, if not similar ones, as me in the early game. So there was a lot of time just wasted there. But yeah, 
I mean, once you found everything, level six was the only troll there. You had to kill that room of whiz robes there. So if you didn't have a compass, which I didn't, uh, you didn't know which room to kill. So you just had to keep on bombing. And that was rough. Um, it's so it, it's it was interesting. There there wasn't really uh, the same route by both of you. You you actually had a bit of a divergent path. Um, you let's see. H N went up and got the bow right away, pretty much. Um, and so he had the bow for a while and um, was able to clear dungeons more efficiently. But you went to level six right away and got the ladder immediately if someone had done that combination of moves together man you'd been set but well man six yeah that would have definitely cut off at least 10 minutes off the run right there if you did that first yeah but uh yeah i, I think eight gen looked uh looked much more prepared for what the seed was offering in the beginning uh you had the ladder first. That was probably the biggest thing. You didn't. Uh, HN got the wand out of eight. It looked like you looked for the uh, the item there for a little bit, but then kind of gave up on it. I did. It was so late, and the only dungeon I had left after eight was level six. So I knew that the wand really wasn't going to help me on anything except for like likes and keys and uh, gels and souls, whatever. Uh, yeah. And fire, but yeah, like for clearing out whiz robes. Um, wand doesn't help unless it's boomstick. So I was, I did look for it for a little bit, just in case. But uh, I did, wasn't going way out of my way for it. Nor was I wasting any keys. As you saw, I only had two keys right there at the end, going into nine. I thought I was going to be a goner for sure, just because of that. Yeah, I think HN actually had one key going in. <sighs> it's scary. This was very, very key starved seed, that's for sure. Absolutely. In case you were wondering, the wand indeed was the other item in level 8. The magic key was the item in level 5. Neither player discovered it. Oh, yeah. I, well, why go back into 5 when the Triforce is so early, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. yeah you guys both grabbed that bomb upgrade and grabbed the Triforce and got out of there. Yep, see ya. So yeah, finding the recorder, um, that was the like the last key item that uh, Adagenos f found in his seed. He actually, he got the deceptive hint. I mean, little did he know it was actually a truthful hint that uh, Gliok guarded the recorder, but instead of going to level four, he went to level one first because he did not get both items. He got the wrap, but didn't get Lord Banana. So he went to level one first, then he went to level four. The recorder was the last major item that he discovered and that in my opinion turned the tables when you found that recorder kind of took a lead on him and then he took the lead on you back going into level nine because his last level was level seven and you had a ways to go to get you know when you were for, at level eight 14 seconds though so it was really anybody's game you just got luck you're in level nine yep i'll definitely uh i'll definitely chalk that up to luck i took the let's play it risky route and take passages instead of exploring the areas that I already had. And not to mention I was key starved, so I didn't really want to waste a few keys uh, in the early part of the dungeon. So I was like, I'll just take passages until I can't take passages anymore. Um, and then I was, I saw the patcher and I'm like, man, I really want to see what's in the spiral staircase room. So I popped a potion and just took it nice and slow there and, uh, and work down that patra with my beam sword, and it, it seemed to work out well. It was slow and steady, and it happened to be the red ring, which helped me be a lot more aggressive in some of those later Wizard of Rooms to find that silver arrow. Yeah. Uh, something, uh, something interesting I also want to point out about the start of the seed uh, that you might have found frustrating at the start, but it might have actually helped you in a way, because, you know, that's how randomizer works. Um, you started in level one. You you guys were both in one early, and um, you had to make decisions with keys, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, eight gen found the raft the first time in there. You, on the other hand, ran out of keys and couldn't get either item, so right. you left. He had the raft, and he went to four much before you did. Um, so he didn't have the ladder when he went there, and I think that was a big thing there because you know the. The item in four was basically free if you had the ladder once you got to the Triforce. Um, but uh, if you didn't have the ladder, it was... I, I don't know if it was completely ladder blocked or not, but certainly at least a, a pain. So that's why he didn't get the recorder right away and didn't check there first. Still, I, I don't know... It, I don't know if it's confirmed that... Did, did you both see the hint for 
the Gliok lurks with the recorder? I, I think you no. would take that. It, you didn't see it? I don't believe I did. If I okay. did, no, I wasn't paying didn't. attention to. I took every every hit with a grain of salt after I saw that one was deceptive. So, at that point, whenever I see one deceptive, I don't trust any of them anymore. Yeah, but you know there's a 50% chance it's true. Yeah, and, then and if the it, other 50% chance. It, if, yeah, and, and remember, Jam, when you see vanilla messages in shops or caves like that, you know it's going to be deceptive hints. If, yeah. if, um, if you have one item left and only three dungeons where it can be in, and the hint that you get still makes sense, I would definitely lean towards trusting that hint, you know? Sure, like, sure, sure. It's definitely situational. Right. But I, I, just as a rule of thumb, I try, to, I try to ignore them or just take them with a grain of salt. Yeah. No. For sure. For sure. Take them with a grain of salt. Like, don't panic when you get a message that the silvers lie elsewhere. Did you run into that room? Nope. Adagenos did. Oh, yeah. He got that hint as well. Oh, that's a bad hint. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely a bad hint. Especially when you definitely you left, you know, a dungeon behind. But as soon as I saw Red Ring, there was a, there's just a high percent chance that Silver Arrow is also in level 9 as well. So, I, as soon as I had Red Ring, I, I just figured just keep digging, keep looking for staircases at this point. You heard Ganon in the beginning of level 9. Maybe that's the only way to get to that part of the dungeon. And uh, man, I did not expect Zelda to be right, right above him. That was I didn't either. With a compass in the room, if you notice, Zelda guards. Yep, I noticed it. Yep, it yep. happened again. Just like race, didn't that happen in the race off too? Uh, like Zelda was guarding the compass. I think so. so. I'm pretty, really, pretty sure. Yeah, I was too hyped at that moment. Yeah, I, I can imagine it. that. I have one more question for you, Jam. One more question. When Go you ahead. When you saw that in the wood sword cave, that there was no wood sword in there, yet again, what were your thoughts? I was actually upset that there was no extra candles. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, we know there no extra candles. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Which didn't really matter, but yeah, no extra candles. But yeah, no, seriously, what were, your, what were the thoughts running in your head when you discovered that once again you're dealing with a swordless seed? Honestly, I didn't really care about swordless. Uh, I'm not scared of it nor does it really intimidate me. The only thing that was going through my head when I went in there is, hey, are all caves shuffled? Do, should I check these bushes? And when I saw that, you know, one was a, uh, uh, a potion shop and the other one was a pay me, um, I, I knew that it was most likely vanilla overworld at that point. So I checked the shops just to confirm that they had the right items in there at the right prices, which those weren't shuffled at all. That was pretty cool. So I knew where all the items were, and I didn't have to worry about shops. And then I just went straight for dungeons and some money along the way. Well, it all worked out for you in the end. Again, really close race the entire way, 14-second difference going to level 9. It's just you picked the luckier path. You found both of the items rather quickly. You took care of Ganon, and you're the winner. Again, you're moving on to the quarterfinals against either Adirondack Rick or Karakarn VI, give us your thoughts about what you might be facing off against next race. I think those two got to watch out. Um, you know, it might might be a blessing, might be a curse that you make it through that next round because you got to come up against me. Bring it. All right. Well, best of luck to you in the quarterfinals. And again, congratulations on tonight's victory. Thank you very much. Thanks for the restream and short notice. And thanks for the awesome commentary. As always, guys, love you much. Thanks, Jim.